it's Elizabeth from Madeira Green Moments and today I have a Target Fall Haul. All right, hey guys, I just got back from Target and I wanted to make sure I shared a quick haul with you. I have fall on the brain and I think I went in with the mentality of anything that was fall themed or pumpkin needed to come home with me. So um, I went ahead and I found as many yummy things as I could find and thought I would share it with you guys today. So let's just jump right in. These looked delicious. Uh, Juan loves making breakfast at home and he loves to make pancakes and waffles from scratch. On a school day, I don't know how he does that because maybe I just have more I have to get done in the morning. But these, when the mornings when he has to leave early, I thought would be awesome. So mommy can save the day too. <laughs> They're organic uh, mini waffles. So sometimes we have, when we make waffles or pancakes, we'll save them in the freezer and we'll have them ready to go. But they tend to run out. The kids love that for breakfast. So these were really cool and they're organic. So that's plus. I wanna make some pumpkin bread and I have made it from actually cooking the pumpkin. Um, but I don't know, I'm just not in the mood to actually get and buy pumpkins yet. So I thought I would make um, some pumpkin bread with some canned pumpkin. So I made sure to get this. It's got no preservatives. Yummy pumpkin. I also picked up uh, Emily Noel 83. I will put a link to her channel down below, but she was actually um, raving about these, these anywhere hair ties. And so it's kind of like a bandana that you can do your hair different ways, but it's got like wire in it so you can position it. So anyways, I've learned a lot about makeup and hair stuff and things from her. So I will put a link to her channel down below, but I thought I'd give this a whirl and try it. All right, Target dollar spot. Anybody a sucker for that spot? <laughs> These were adorable. Now they were $3, not a dollar, but um, they're like little spots for votive candles. I've got some bee wax ones that I think I might use, but isn't that cute? Really, really cute little pumpkin, little burlap. They needed to come home with me. <laughs> Love that. Another thing I picked up from the Target dollar spot was this, it says, hello fall. I thought that was so cute and I'll just find a little shelf for that to go on. I got some limited edition pumpkin puffins cereal. They're gluten-free, made with real pumpkin. So I've never had puffins. Anybody had puffins? I don't know. They look yummy and I like pumpkin, so I thought this would be yummy. So it's got only five grams of sugar, whole grains. We'll see, try those out. It's not fall until you have apple cider. So I made sure to get some of this. Um, my kids, it's got only apples. Like that's it, right? <laughs> apples. My kids don't love it. My husband doesn't love it. So this will be just for me. I picked up Annie's bunnies. Anybody like these? My kids love, well, Ethan loves fruit snacks. And um, I just don't like all the yucky ingredients, but these are organic. I don't buy them often because they're not great to have sugar gummies in your teeth, but um, as a treat and they were on sale, plus the Target Cartwheel app, if you haven't gotten that yet, you need that. Every item you scan, you end up getting like an additional percentage off if it's part of the sale that week. So I think I got 20 or 30% off of these, plus they were on sale. So that was a good deal. All right, some more yumminess. Cinnamon and sugar sweet potato corn tortilla chips. I was a sucker. I bought into them because they looked cozy and yummy and I thought they'd just be good. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna dip them in anything. Anybody dip these in anything? Does it say on the back? Oh, you could pair it with sweet salsa. I don't know. I don't know if I should dip them. Maybe I should look on Pinterest and see if there's some suggestions. We are being lazy today. We are making fall pumpkin cookies and I'm not making them from scratch. So I was checking the pre-done section for the cookies and I always make cookies from scratch. I never buy those pre-done kits. But this one is gluten-free, no bleached flour, no preservatives and no artificial flavors. This immaculate, honest, delicious. I actually saw this at our, like, it's kind of like a whole food store. Um, so I know that it's got better ingredients in it, rice flour, sugar, potato starch, xanthan gum, salt. So there's no funky stuff. And then I add the butter and the, the egg and vanilla and water. 
So we're not going gluten-free. It's not something that's a concern for us, but I just bought this because it had better ingredients. Well, good ingredients, not better. Real food. It's got real food ingredients. All right. Pumpkin spice granola. Yummy. So I got this for some vanilla yogurt. Would you believe that Target does not have organic vanilla yogurt? Not that I could see, unless it was hiding somewhere. So I paired it with non-organic yogurt, but it's pumpkin. <laughs> it's Greek yogurt. Um, I don't ever buy non-organic dairy. We try to always buy organic dairy, but this was calling my name. It had a pumpkin. We'll see how it tastes. Um, I'll just have to wait till I go back to Publix. It does say that there's no GMO ingredients though. So it is made from happy cows, um, but it's not technically organic. So I'm gonna try this for breakfast this week. Now, my dear friend Natalie, if you don't know her, you need to check her out. I'm gonna have a lot of links down below, but she has a channel, Living the Oil Life, and um, she has a weakness this fall. It's candy corn. <laughs> she loves all things candy corn. I found this, it's, um, oh, I'm upside down, Hammond's. They have really good chocolate bars, and they have a candy corn chocolate bar. So I'm gonna save this for her, and I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow. Maybe she'll share a piece with me so I can try it. But this is some love heading her way. She loves candy corn. I don't like candy corn but we'll see how that is. All right, and then last but not least, I am a sucker for anything that's for organizing. I love organizing, and this is um, a magnetic chore chart. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. This was in the dollar section too, it was $3. It's not fall theme, but you put these different um, chores to go along the side, and then Monday to Friday they put their little, did they get it done? Now, it's really cool because then I can look back and see, oh, you know, they're not making their bed, or they didn't take a bath, or did they not do their homework, or set the table, whatever it may be. And then um, what we also do in my family is we do sticker charts. So every time they do these things, they get a sticker on their chart. Once the sticker chart's full, there's like 25 stickers, they get a reward, which this month, Charlotte got her own Erin Condren notebook. I bought her a notebook. Um, she's been wanting a planner, and I thought, I don't think she really needs a planner. What does she really plan, right? <laughs> she's third grade. So I got her a notebook and put a calendar in the front for her. Um, and then Ethan, you know, we get toys from the dollar store, we get to go for ice cream, things like that too. So that's kind of what we, we're, we do, but I thought this would be neat to kind of keep track of who's doing what to win or not doing what when. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> what win? So that is my fall haul. That's what I picked up this week uh, at Target. I was looking for really cute pumpkin stuff, but a lot of the stuff in the Halloween section was really scary and the kids were like, oh my goodness, mom. So maybe some of the really cool pumpkin stuff was picked over, I don't know. So maybe I need to go to a different Target and check it out or maybe I missed it. All right guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.